For the first time since the Boeing 787 first took to the skies in 2009, Boeing has introduced a new passenger aircraft model. This is a product aimed at the mid-size market, with two small aisles. Right from the moment the idea of this new aircraft was announced, it was more or less assumed that it would be a potential competitor of the Airbus A321 XLR aircraft and believe that it will continue nearly 70 years of Boeing history since the first Boeing 707. So what does the 797 have that can beat Airbus? What potential will it bring to airlines? Let's find out in today's episode. If you find this video interesting, please support us by liking, commenting, and subscribing to the channel to receive good information about aviation. The first reason is the superiority in range and payload capacity. The Boeing 797, new midsize aircraft, is expected to have a range of approximately 4,500 to 5,000 nautical miles. This extended range allows it to serve long-haul transcontinental routes and some transoceanic routes, making it suitable for flights such as New York to London or Los Angeles to Tokyo. Meanwhile, the Airbus A321 has a shorter flight range, with the extra long range variant only achieving a maximum range of about 4,700 nautical miles. The manufacturer expects the XLR to offer the longest range of any single aisle aircraft, allowing for flights such as New York to Rome or Sydney to Kuala Lumpur. So it can be seen that while the A321 XLR offers an impressive range for a single aisle aircraft, the Boeing 797 aims to offer a slightly superior range with the added benefits of a larger cabin and the ability to better fuel economy, specifically in terms of payload, Boeing's new aircraft is expected to carry between 220 and 270 passengers in a conventional two-class configuration. Its load capacity is designed to be higher, allowing it to transport more passengers and goods. However, those are just estimated figures, because in reality, the specific load will depend on the final design and configuration options chosen by the airlines. The difference in the number of seats between an airline that wants to configure one class and three classes will be a big difference. With the Airbus A321neo, it usually only carries about 206 passengers in a two-class configuration. The A321XLR slightly increased this number due to its long-range flight capability. The maximum payload, including passengers, cargo, and fuel, is approximately 93,500 pounds, or 42,411 kilograms for the A321 XLR. Therefore, customers can have better flying experiences when sitting on an aircraft from an American manufacturer. 7, 9, the 7th of May offer more premium seating options. But even when sitting in economy class cabins with a larger cabin, passengers can still have plenty of space to sit and relax as much as possible. As for the A321 XLR, the ability to bring high comfort to passengers probably only stops at premium classes because its cabin is narrower. Because the maximum load of the 797 has not yet been announced when compared only to the number of seats, the 797 clearly has the upper hand. The airplane could offer an advantage to airlines that need to maximize revenue on longer routes without switching to full wide-body aircraft. In addition, the aerodynamic technology and materials on the 797 will be the newest and most advanced to deliver superior performance. In fact, up to now, detailed and verified aerodynamic specifications of the Boeing 797 are not yet available because the aircraft is still in the development stage and has not been officially launched or revealed by Boeing. However, one thing is certain, the manufacturer will integrate the best technology into this aircraft. It is safe to expect that it will be more advanced than the A321 XLR. The Boeing 797 is expected to feature a new, 
highly efficient wing design, incorporating the latest aerodynamic innovations. This could include advanced winglets and other features that reduce drag and improve fuel efficiency compared to the A321 XLR. Manufacturers may incorporate more advanced laminar flow technology on the 797, which reduces skin frictional resistance on wing and fuselage surfaces. In fact, the technology is already found on Airbus planes, but Boeing's newer design may have a chance to take advantage of more recent advances. In terms of materials, the Boeing plane is expected to use a higher proportion of composite materials in its structure, similar to the 787 Dreamliner. These materials not only reduce weight, but can also be shaped more aerodynamically than traditional aluminum structures, potentially providing an advantage over the more conventional materials used in the A321 XLR. Boeing will likely design the 797 with a wider and more aerodynamically optimized fuselage shape that could reduce drag, helps improve fuel efficiency over longer ranges. The Airbus aircraft already has an advanced and highly efficient aerodynamic design, but the 797 being a newer design has the potential to incorporate even more advanced aerodynamic features. However, the actual performance and aerodynamic superiority of the 797 over the A321 XLR will need to be evaluated through direct comparison once both aircraft enter service. What's more, the 797 is superior to the A321 XLR in terms of versatility. True to its name, 797 or NMA stands for New Midsize Aircraft is a concept aircraft proposed by Boeing to fill the mid-range market segment. Designed to bridge the gap between the narrow body 737 and the wide body 787, this new aircraft is something to look forward to. It gives airlines more flexibility in meeting the different needs of passengers on different routes. While the A321 XLR is versatile for long-range narrow body routes, its narrower cabin may limit its appeal on high-density short-haul routes where turnarounds are quick and passenger comfort is limited. Designed for the mid-range target market, the 797 can serve both short-haul and long-haul markets effectively. It can be optimized for fast turnaround times and operates efficiently on a variety of routes. This makes the aircraft an ideal choice for business models, depending on the strategy that airlines want. The Boeing plane is designed to focus on operations from multiple airports, including those with shorter runways or poorer infrastructure, so it's clearly capable of reaching more destinations than larger wide-body aircraft. This increases its flexibility in flight network planning. Meanwhile, the A321 XLR is also compatible with many airports, but its performance on shorter runways may not be as strong as the 797's predictability. The last reason that can be mentioned here is the advanced engine design. The 797 is expected to use the most advanced generation of turbofan engines. Combining gear, turbofan technology, will improve fuel efficiency. Implementing variable blade angles can optimize performance during various phases of flight, from takeoff to cruise to landing, improving overall efficiency. Advanced combustion technologies will likely be used to reduce nitrogen and carbonic oxide emissions, helping Boeing aircraft meet strict environmental regulations and reduce carbon emissions and the engine will likely be compatible with sustainable aviation fuel, which is friendlier than conventional jet fuel. And we can look forward to a greener aviation future when this plane can be equipped with hybrid or electric engines. The advanced nacelle design with a reduced drag profile complements the overall aerodynamics of the 797. Combined with optimized engine placement and wing integration to reduce wake drag and improve aerodynamic efficiency. 
The latest engine designs incorporate noise reduction technologies, such as V-grooves on the engine cover and advanced acoustic lining. These features help the aircraft meet or exceed current noise regulations, making them quieter for both passengers and the airport community. Boeing could also consider using advanced materials such as ceramic matrix composites in hot parts of the engine that can withstand higher temperatures, reducing wear and maintenance costs. Integrating advanced sensors and data analytics for predictive maintenance can optimize engine maintenance, minimize downtime, and extend the interval between major overhauls. However, developing a new aircraft is a significant financial investment. Boeing needs to ensure that the expected return on investment co covers the costs, and the manufacturer is also focusing on addressing the consequences of the 737 MAX grounding, including restoring its reputation, ensuring the safety of its existing fleet, and managing financial losses. These efforts may take priority over launching a new aircraft. In conclusion, these expected advantages make the Boeing 797 a more attractive option for airlines looking to enhance medium to long haul capabilities while maintaining operational efficiency and passenger comfort. However, the success of the 797 will depend on its actual performance, cost effectiveness, and market acceptance once it is introduced.